know how to throw a good party you could say that spirit literally lives in us now long before beer factories came ugandans were enjoying local brew made from millet sorghum and bananas one of the brews you are sure to enjoy in buganda is tonto famous for its kill me quick effects it is brewed with ingredients like bananas and fermented with millet powder for the manufacturing process though, all you need are your feet. Today we discover or remind ourselves what gives Tonto its potent. Welcome to Know Your Roots. I'm at Young Laura. Let's get growing. Hey, uh, yeah, yeah, mama. Today we've come to Kakunyu village in Mitiana and we have Mr. Kabuka who is going to explain to us how Tonto is brewed. Mm. 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 This is the Mitiana. But we are going to use some of it on my own go. Tonto. To so can look at my mama vidi. Over more soco. But to mama vidi. It will get time to go and nick up with Chibani. But Gavanga Makuru Bulungi. That is Okumalaki Naku, Mukaga Musamvu. Katunaku ran over Doro Munana no Vango Sogola. Katunga to gain Oksogola. To tame a soup. The two food to be a no muemba. Sanidiato. Cadisubi, two little matter, maybe two and two, if you turn two and two. It will take a Muriato, and two Tabula Nama with the Muriato, Neto Sogola. Bogam Boxogo, teach you what I guess I'm really your one. Oxogola, could take a mavid no banga or so grand, no go Okulina with the Gagondi. Mokosabigate, Mokosabigate, no Nengalo, or so quite a mono choose a name along was never watching Mokosa and Yavigate. Auntie, I read the Galiga Vida mind to use a gas of Goza Mikono. Nigam Mokakubanga, so so good, no so good, Domola, Molimos, no so good, Domola, Satu, a cumi, to so a gas of Goza Mikon, but he began it. Among the government, if you get it, you will be a man who Kakacha <laughs> Omwingi kya buwangwa bono mu Buganda. Era bubango no waso omukazi. Ekisokira dalle ekyo waso omukazi ekikulu. Kita kya mwingi. Era kye kyava ake njugula wane gama ndi omukazi agula mwingi. Ekwashiva. E omukazi agula mwingi. Omukazi agula mwingi. Kichi dalla kye kitegeza. Anti omukobwa agenda ku kugenda ku waso omukazi. Mhm. Watu wali bitabi omwingi bisatu. Bisatu. It takes soaker, a chitta to write a gula luigi, or Bushimalo, why you follow Gutaniki, or go to a song cousin. Never why it takes you could be a chan jogger. But you take one wooding of a long water and so cool again. Our cool, anger, Banyuako with a calamimiro. A chitta, a choke satu, Chitta, a chua so mukazi. But you eat anger to soak why you a 
Ebiye bita bina saizi nti chinechita. Biyo na biva bita biva biye nkana te biva akobita. Nienge minundi jisi ingo kufeda nindu wa kubenza anjizi ya babi sajula. Nienge kufeda nindu wa wako isa ange chitanga chidi ya mwe chido mula chila amba. Hei. Hei. Obugazi wacho. Hei nga bochi wamo chigwila mwe chido mula chio mwe. Hmm. Che chite chitufu chino kwa somu kazi. Yo yo mrut. Kati chuitile mwko emitenda jetu ino kuitamu. Okola uh, mwengebigiri. Nafetu subulu mwengebigiri. Okola mwengebigiri. Mm. Kakati wa mwengu ni watu wa niko gukola. Mm. Ama videga fetu watu wa mala doga wa ogate mwengu wa mwengu suku. Mm. Tanga tuwa gani kakuchibanyicha fuku. Mm. Echibanyicha chiri wa chichino? Echibanyicha chichino. Wano wa gulu? E. Mm. Kakati wa videga fega no. Tu watu wa mala doga wa nikakuchibanyuku no. Ngagawe zaki nina kumusamvu. Mm. Kati wana kulumu nana. Tugajia kugendu gaso gulu suru gajia mu. Kati chie chengeza ama bidaba? Chengeza ama bidaba. Kati kwa kuchiba nyuku no? Mm. Tuku mawansu mulilo. Ya, mm. ila butuma luwa nika ama bidaba. Tuku matufumbi la yu. Tuku matuma lufumba. Tuku matuteka muku bisikia. Tuteka muku mwenye tuku omela. Kwa hey. hito kuku omela ama bidaba. Mm. Kati guna omuka guwe kugena ne gugumia? Omuka guwe bugumu risi tuka guwelidi. Ni wagulunga tuka biseko. Chigaliti yukwengi la ama. Hey. Hey. Hmm. Kakati butuwa wano? Mm. Tuba, tuba tutawa. Kali butuma luwa nula ama bidaba fega no? Mm. Tuka wanula. Ni tuka teka wetu wansi, okay. ni tuko ongola. Tu, tu, tuko ongola ama bidega na wetu ti, munu kumunu wetu ti. Mm. Baga lila unago? Musa, ta ina wazibu, <laughs> wega diyo solo diri ya. <laughs> hey. Ni inga, gaso gulu wa mwe. Kati oku ongola vuoti, mm. nga teka mchido molo vechibu, mm. nga tusomba, nga tuwala yo, muli yato. Kakati sebo tumazo kuungula mefu, yeah. tuka mbidi, mm. tuzita demu muno, mm. chie chidaka. Kati chidaku, mm. tutemesubi, mm. ni tuge na hey. hey, Ne aba sogola, asoko kuna wako kukire kusoro kumo buyonjo, hey. buwechi nukiawa gendo kola. Hey. Kati wano, osoka na ugalinia, ni gama luku kugona nga tunateka musubi. Chigeze, 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 Okay. So this is actually the stepping process. It's stepping into the bananas to get the juice out. But it seems like a lot of work. <laughs> this is like a lot of work. So we have to Kakati wa vwa wano ngoma zoku linya. Kakati wano? Kakati wano mbisi kwa figubi la gumusi. Kakati sebo, mm. abakazi na uba kilizi wa kulinya? Aha, abakazi tiba kilizi wa kulinya muli ya kamunu. Kulu wachi? Chia mozizo wa mkazi wa kulinya muli ya ato. Muli ya ato? Mti mm. akubu mwabisirani? Abusima <laughs> ni bajajia fuchiku wa achijia. Eh, kari botu wa mkazi wa kulinya muli ya ato. Kakati wano, mbisi wa gufu wano nguba gumose ndo wazero gulabo. Ugulabo mbisi ugafe, hey. kati gumose katugi ndo kutabulamu, hmm. ama, ze, ama samu samu, okusolo kusiga langa muka. Hey. Hey. Ama mazi mwara gafu mbako? Haa, ama mazi gotu gateka munga mbisi. Ama mbisi? Hey. Niyo, ya nchipa gamba mazi ama mbisi si marunji kuna? Omulimu gwe subirini, kusenge jabuli chimu.
ahate gunu gaguba gusiga de mbisubi eh omwemba tuguteka munga tumaze okulinya ali kitalili ne tusengeje mu mbisi gunu gukka Kakati wano, kati wano gama zo kuleta vula. Katu gendo kwa lili echitalili. Kati echitalili, chechi bila mchitalili. Echitalili chino, katu gina kuchali, ila tuteke muenda gala, tuteke kemiti, tusobolo kuteka kwa umobisi kwa fegu, natu kukene nule. After sieving the banana juice, it is put back in a pot. Millet is added, the mixture is then stirred and covered with the grass that was used in the stepping process. Banana leaves are also used to keep the mixture warm while it ferments, which takes a day or two to turn into alcohol. Tuso kandu sena kwa umuenge guno, muunde ku, jiba ite nembe, umuenge guwa bataka. Ila, chiwa nunzi guwa antibu, uto sena kwa umuengo guno. Umengo mwana lagu wese ingezi kusukulu kuyika. Umengo kuna mbu wangwa. Gusani kiluwa na sanja. Giso ulo kube ili ya musa. Oba ili ya chisubi. Now that we are done with the manufacturing process, let's find out what Tonto is all about. So Tonto comes from a Luganda word, Tonto Meda which means do not knock me over. A statement you can tell to a friend when they are losing balance. So let's find out the tonto meda in this tonto. Forget about the machines, this is the real deal. This is the drink that the Baganda used to flag off a wedding ceremony. Plus, it was also enjoyed at various celebrations like the harvest, cultural meetings, get togethers, or simply to wash off a day's work. So let's go for a little break, then we'll be back with Generation 21st Views. It is not hygiene for the people to take, yeah. But if it is done somewhere where there is good hygiene in a clean place, I think there it is better. Uh, what, what, what do you call local? Local? Uh, something which is common in a country. In a country? But do you realize that wine is more common than Mwengebe Gebe? Uh, no. <laughs> At least for it is somehow modernized. It's somehow modernized, eh? Yeah. So, but what is your general opinion about Mwengevigere? Would you drink it? Would you advise anyone to drink it? Uh, I wouldn't advise because uh, sometimes when they are making that uh, Mwengevigere, uh, I, I heard uh, some rumors that uh, they use legs. That is why it's called Bigere. Yeah, that's why it's called Bigere. Yes. You find that some legs, they are dirty. Yeah. Someone having jiggers. <laughs> Yeah, hey, uh -huh, so stepping. <laughs> so you find that someone is going to take something uh, which is actually not good, which is having bacteria. What you find that people they are ending up getting diseases. My general opinion about my Do you think people should drink it or drop it? I think they can take it because, as per now, I have never heard of any complaints from the people that maybe someone took it and died. Maybe some may take it and have some stomach disorders. Eh? But I think if it is okay, 
on the consumer side, yeah, I think it is okay. For my own opinion, Mangev Gira has been there for quite some time. Our relatives, our great grand, they have taken it before being born. And many people take it because of some reasons, like being like socializing with their friends, passing time, and forgetting problems. Uh, do you know how they make wine? How they squeeze those grapes? Uh, wine, at least wine, it can be a bit okay. Uh, because they use uh, those factors, I know they can uh, simplify those things and then like uh, they can boil maybe like the water they are using, what, what. So at least for them, they can. Actually, when you talk about boiling water, you may have a point there. Yeah. But the thing about using legs, do you know that they also they step the grapes to get the juice out of them? I actually uh, saw a documentary yeah. Yeah. when they were making wine. Eh? I was like, but this is now Mwengevi Geta. They should just give it the name, you know? Ah, that one. You still believe no Mwengevi Geta on corporate tables? No Mwengevi Geta. <laughs> actually, maybe if they simplify, like uh. if they use the... Uh, also factories, if there are factories which can make them, mm. uh, there it can be okay. okay. Uh, but in Mwengevigiri, mm. when someone is from digging, what, what? Uh, eh? And they just go ahead. Uh, and they just go. <laughs> eh? uh. You find that actually these legs, sometimes these legs, they are, they are not okay. Mm. Like uh, if they are from shoes and then you go, all then you the step, carbon, eh? all the carbon goes. You go and mix them when give it the when give it get it. <laughs> I if, understand. If they guys they are there, they always show contain uh, what what find that uh, someone is, is taking something which is bacterial. Eh? But a question: Do you think today, like in this generation, can you actually invite friends over and instead of buying wine eh, and beer, you bring my give get it? Can you do that? No, <laughs> myself I can't do it. <laughs> Why? Maybe because even me, before I was born, it was there. And even if I was born also, I found it. So, for my, for my case, I can't say I should, it, should, it should be banned off from Uganda. No, no, no. I, I did not say like banning it. Like, can you buy the alcohol when you invite friends over for a party? Instead of buying wine and beer and sodas, you buy Mwengevi Gede and put it there and tell them today. Huh? <laughs> Instead of anything else you are doing Mwengevi Gede, can you do that? Okay, I can buy for people who can take it. Who, because not all of us take, take yeah. wines. Mm. The people who take this local wallet, the people who take Mwengevi Gede, as you have said, and the people who take the, this wine of ours. Mm. So if, if there are those people who want one uh, that should be on the party. Uh, I can also bring one for them and they, they also enjoy it. Have, have, you, have you tested it before? Yeah, I tested it once. How does it taste? It's good. It's not. It's good. Is it like wine? Is it like marwa? Yeah, it depends on the person who has, who has produced it. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so um, the other question is, do you think it should be abolished? Because some people are actually saying it's not hygienic. Uh, it should be, you know, abolished. They should leave it alone because it's for old people. Do you think it should be abolished? Yeah, for my case, I, I can advise my friends who are taking it to store because sometimes I said they did, but sometime back that it can cause diseases when you take too much alcohol of it. Mm. Our existence draws its roots from our past and Tonto is one of those ancestral inventions that the Baganda hold dear because it not only reminds them of the good old days but gives them a sense of authenticity. Thank you so much for giving us your time to watch Know Your Roots. Today we found out how the Baganda prepare their local brew. Next time we'll find out how a different tribe prepares their local brew. This is Know Your Roots, I'm Etiang Laura. I hear the ancestors calling Do you know who you are or where you come from? I hear the mama They say and know your roots Know your roots Know your roots Yeah